Welcome to Paradox Power Plays. I'm Halo, and uh, this last weekend I swung by a Half Price Books outlet and found a few games from my childhood. They had uh, <laughs> Reader Rabbit, Second Grade, uh, and some other stuff, but the most prominent one to me was uh, Freddy Fish 3, The Mystery of the Stolen Cockshell. Now, this was one that my sister and I could never quite beat when we were children, but hopefully I've gotten a little bit smarter since then, so let's take another crack at this. Now, the only machine that I have that's actually capable of running this, because it's a 16-bit application, is the $10 laptop. I could probably just use a VM, but where's the fun in that? All right, let's get going. Oh, yes. This is from Humongous, the same company that did uh, Pajama Sam, Spy Fox, and Putt-Putt. Are you enjoying the flight on Pelican Sam Airlines, Freddy? A lot, Sam. Gosh, Luther, it was really great of your Uncle Bloody to invite us to the Founders Day Festival. Voice acting well, actually Uncle isn't too bad. I'm his favorite nephew. And you know I never take a special trip like this without my best friend, Freddy Fit. <laughs> Oh man. It is it's been a while. Smooth landing. Loser. Thanks for the lift, Sam. Have a good time. Okay. Wow, the artwork's actually pretty impressive. When did this come out? Like ninety-eight? Alright, let's go exploring. Ooh. Yes, yes, purple sea urchin. I don't know what color uh, those are supposed to be, but purple. that plug hmm. out. I wonder what will happen if I pull this plug. Yes. I am so Great smart. Great job. I knew you could pull it off. Get it? Pull off? Oh, Luther. Oh, Luther. Can I? Yes, yes I can. I'd better hold on to this. You just never know when a drain plug might come in handy. That's right. I always keep a spare drain plug on me at all times. Luther, I've got like ten of them in my zombie here. apocalypse Uncle kit. Blenny? Uncle Blenny, what are you doing in <laughs> His jail? face. Well, <gasps> the great conch shell was stolen. The Founders Day Festival can't start without it. Since I'm the grand exalted keeper of the conch, I'm the prime suspect, but I didn't do it. Sure Here, you didn't. Here's a diagram of the conch shell before it was taken. The priceless conch had three golden pipes, but they may have fallen out. And here's a picture of all the people who were nearby when the crime happened. There's Gil Barker, Claw, mm -hmm. Nadine the Narwhal, Rosie Pearl, Pierre the Tailor, and Horse Fetters the Tourist. Can't your dogfish sniff out the thief? Old soggy sniffer ain't what it used to be. But if he can get the three golden pipes, he can pick up the scent. We'll find the three golden pipes, Uncle Blanny. You're my only hope, nephew. You and your friend, Freddy Fish. So, we need to find the three missing pieces of the cock shell to free Uncle Lenny. So I think this is where the tailor is. Yes. He doesn't have one. Okay. Let's keep looking. Up here. Step right up, gills and buoys, for the most amazing carnival under the sea. You remember the terrific tumble tooth ride last year? Well, 
what we've got in store for you this year is even better. The most amazing. It's just one game of not even Tetris. Ooh, wow, sea urchin. It's a grandma grouper fortune teller machine. I've heard about these. Another sea urchin. Ready? I found a purple sea urchin. Big we'll money. And I'll hang on to it for later. Good work, Luther. <laughs> There isn't one there either. The Founders Day Festival. I love music. Ooh. Art. Right, I can't looking. even see my own fin in front of my face. Freddy? Freddy, where are you? I'm right here, Luther. I knew that. Alright, so I assume there's one down here. I'm really impressed by the uh, animation quality in this. It's not bad at all. Backgrounds look good. A lot more keyframes than the uh, Reader Rabbit game I played had. That was really, really cheap. Oh, oh, she's got the nut on her. This is one of the scenarios that we couldn't figure out how to solve. So hopefully I've gotten smarter now. Whatever you say, Luther. Alright, and then up here, this is the area that we never figured out how to get into. Mm -hmm. These kelp vines are too thick for us to get past. I hate it when vines just randomly completely cover a door. It happens so often. Ooh, music. Under the water is the it glitched, but okay. Under the water in the deep blue sea. Let's try that again. Come on, work, work. Under the water there it goes. Okay, okay, I'm done with this song. Okay. So this guy wants to eat it, and I think you need a pair of scissors or something to cut that, but we never found it. Wait. That's it? That's it? That's all I had to do. The whole time. Oh. Well, that probably just solved it. Um. All right. Freddy, it's the terrific tumble tube. Yep, never been in here before, so that would probably explain why there's some I could never get past. Hey, look, there's the glove. Okay. Still haven't seen any of the shell or uh, any of the pipes. What are they called? The the pieces of the conch shell. Pretty sure there's one in the dark area up here. Shell there. Okay, here's the other one. There's a golden peg, Freddy. Oh. Ah. Uh oh, I broke it. No, you didn't, Luther. We just need to find a way to make the handle stay on. 
Okay. Here's another I urchin. I smile at my little eye, something beginning with a P. Can you guess what it is? Uh... Hmm. Music is very calming. Good work, Luther. Alright. Freddy Fish is so patronizing to Luther. Oh, here's the tourist. Hi, my name is Luther, and this is my best friend, Freddy Fish. I am horse feathers, I am. I can a happy tune with them. <laughs> I predict that phrase book is going to make this a very interesting trip for our friend. Okay, and then the last thing we need is the keys. Oh. A heavy duty glove that should work. From that so, pretty sure I know where all three uh, pipes are now. Stand back, <laughs> this is a job for mighty fish. Luther, you got the pliers, but are you okay? Well, but next time, I'm using a stunt double. Bad Luther. Okay, so I need a key for that. There's the flashlight. Yeah, the bullies club. The bullies club. Uh, you guys got the perfect dimensions for punching bear. <laughs> now stop bugging me, or I'll take out my pen of frustrations on ya. This guy. Just I'll take out my inner frustrations like on ya. There's the flashlight what I need. Do you two want? Excuse me, but I was wondering if we could borrow that flashlight to find the golden pipes. <laughs> if it's in the clubhouse, it must be the clubhouse flashlight. And maybe you didn't notice, but this is the bullies club, and I just happen to be. The president. <laughs> it's a very lonely looking club. I need to get past the president of the bullies club so I can obtain a flashlight to see in the dark. Fair enough, fair enough. Mm, no, I want to go that way. Up here. Mmm. Let's go that way. Oh, there's the other sea urchin. Hey, Luther! Do you see what I see? Purple sea urchin! Big money. Big money, big money. And I love how the key's just sitting there. Well, that was easy. Can't they just swim under the water? They are fishes. Okay. Come on, Luther. Help me push this rock. Well, I'm not pushy by nature, but in this case, I'll make an exception. I, I still don't get that joke. It was so easy for them to like get it out of the dirt. Why is it so hard for them to push it through water? Just a little further and we'll have this log in position. Okay, game. I just had a brainstorm. This old hollow log might help us get through the waterfall. 
Good you job, Luther. Try having brainstorms on a more regular basis. Let's go. Okay. What's down here? Oh, it's just the theater. I guess I don't need anything down here. Hi, folks, and welcome to the world famous Luau Show, where we bring you everything from the dramatic to the acrobatic, and it's all 100% aquatic. So now, ladies, gentle fish, <laughs> gentle fish. They started the every pony thing before my little pony did. You can just swim up a little rapid stream like that, but he had a hard time moving it. Okay. Okay. Alright. I think that's about everywhere. Let's go ahead and get that first spike. Freddy and Luther have now. I sure hope you're right. Oh. I hope they only have rough pipes. This will only hurt a lot. and bulging pectoral fins. Well, you won't get that here, but for only four purple sea urchins. What you will get is a chance to prove your skill and have a thrill. A what a coincidence. I just so happen to have four purple sea urchins. One here per custom avoid where prohibited by law CB. Gil Barker, four details. Okay. Here's a purple sea urchin. I have to pay him one at a time. That's just one purple sea urchin. I need three more before you guys get through the door. It's like going to McDonald's and ordering a sandwich and paying with pennies. Purple sea urchin number two, but that ain't gonna do. Two purple sea urchins more, bring the total to four. Here's a 
We gotta have a complete conversation every time I hand him one piece of money. That's three purple sea urchins, and I'm one away from having enough to let you play. Here's our last purple sea urchin. Four purple sea urchins, precisely the price of admission. And fortunately for you, too, we're having a special. For every little yellow fish that pays admission, a little green fish gets in absolutely free. Boy, that I sounds kind of racist. Right Clip the critters up the wall. When oh, the no. critters touch each other, they'll go away. If you use all the critters in the tube, you'll advance to a new level. But watch out. When the critters move above the bar, they won't go away. Oh, no. Where's my cursor? Okay. Oh, it's not as laggy as I remember. So it used to like wait two spots after you clicked on our old IBM Aptiva computer. I'm going for the big money. Goes the big money. Oops. 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 <laughs> well, I started sucking. I'll just play normally, I guess. Monkey. Boom. We finished the level. Yay. In appreciation of your prodigious prowess, the world famous floating fun is proud to present you with this. A fantabulous fun house mirror replica. That doesn't look as nice as the model. Got this game in the bag. Let's go save Uncle Lenny. There we go. All right. Let's go over here first. We can use this nut to hold the handle on. Oh, yes. Can find the conch shell so we can have a festival. 
I've waited all year. Well, that was random. Okay. Down to the Bullies Club. Hey, President of the Bullies Club. Hey, President of Take the Bullies this. Club. I command you to leave. Freddy, I know we need his flashlight to get Uncle Blenny out of jail, but this Whoa, guy Whoa, how do you get the giant fireworks down here? <laughs> hey, Luke, I have a plan. He's got a rubber duck. Ew. They brought reinforcements! Big, stupid looking, ugly one! <laughs> Can we borrow that flashlight now? Sure! Yay, scare you tactics! Can keep that flashlight as long as you want. Yeah, he's got a rubber ducky here. Oh! Oh, it quacks! Well, that's all it does. Yeah, that's one thing I haven't really been doing. Uh, I think most of the stuff here you can click on and little things will happen with it. Whoa, that's terrifying. Alright. A lot of animation work in this. Alright. Who's this dude? Uh, it's Spy Fox! Let's just blind all of these critters down here. Random ziggurat that is by the town. Old Soggy! The thief! And the thief just happens to come there too. Shiny. A jewel! I'm gonna be rich, rich, rich! Luther, why? Oh no! Hey, what happened? Well, I, I saw this jewel and, and then I took it out and the door closed and I don't... Just put the jewel back, Luther. Luther! Oh, what a trap. Luke, you know, the first thing I'm every thief does when they steal a jewel is sit on that chair. And we can Gets them every time. <laughs> Old Soggy? You go on ahead and track that shell thief. We'll meet you back at the center of town as soon as we can. Of how we didn't find any evidence leading up to this. Alright, let's see. 
Oh, well, there's the key. So I guess I need a blue thing. Let's go this way. I think I remember, so that's where he came from. It's in here, I think? Yeah. There it is. The chisel! It's a chisel! I should hold on to that. It might come in handy. And we need the blue. Can I just take one of these and be rich? A chisel could loosen that crystal. This might set off another trap. But I've got to try everything to get Luther out. This beautiful red crystal sure gives off a lot of light. Wow. I'm rich. And he just grows back. I'm rich. Give me another one. I've already gotten a Ah. Freddy Fish, you have low profit margins. All right. So I need the blue one. So I just got to keep the red crystal. I'm going to be rich. Yeah, that's even bigger than the one Luther took. Oh no. Wait. What happened to my drain plug? My emergency drain plug. Uh, where'd it come from? Here? No. There we go. I have an idea. Rave. Ooh. You should be able to take this now, I assume. All right. That is a big ass key. Here we go. Luther, wait! I'll save you. Alright, almost there. I got an even bigger one. <laughs> Look, Luther, the thief must have dropped this bag. <gasps> the evidence is Look, damning. Solve this case. Come on. And now, for the first time ever, the show won't go on. Boo. Yeah, was in charge. This would never have happened. Yeah. The tailor uses his uh, nose as a sewing needle. Absolutely definitive evidence. Nobody could have framed him. Nobody. That could have been anybody's claw shake boxing glove in that bag. You ain't got nothing on me. 
Oh no. Conclusive okay, evidence. Okay. So maybe you do have something on me. I confess. The guys Th that's at the police it. club made me do it. They're even bigger bullies than I am. <laughs> Blame someone else for the things that you do wrong. You should know that no matter what anyone else says, it's just plain wrong to steal. I've been a selfish shellfish. I'm sorry. He is the just great had it on punch. him. Uncle Plenty, we're sorry we blamed you. That's okay. You know, when I'm going to uh, burn someone at the stake, I always bring the thing that they were accused of stealing with me. It's just a given. What can I ever do to thank you? Who let him out of jail? How'd he get his uniform back on so quickly? That's it. That's it. Claw was convicted of violating Penal Code 119 for having a really bad attitude. As punishment, he was <laughs> sentenced to take remedial classes in ballet for bullies, and has to wear a tutu and little pink dance slippers to school for a whole year. Wow. Case closed. Cruel and unusual. Well, thank you guys for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this gameplay. See you guys next time. Hey, Time 8 here. Thanks for watching our latest Paradox Powerplays video. If you liked it, go ahead and show your love by clicking that like button. Want to share your thoughts? And please leave a comment. Want more? Go ahead and click subscribe too. Can't wait? Then why don't you go check out the channel and see all our other playthroughs. Catch you next time, chaps.